What is going on today, guys? This is Tony from Team Divine Pro. Um, sorry, I haven't been making a lot of videos lately. It's just that uh, things have been really hectic as of late, so um, I've had to slow down on content. But I am back, and I will try to do my best to do as much content uploading as I possibly can in the next weeks to come. I think I might put out a contest or something. It all depends about if I hit a certain amount of subscribers, so if you guys want to see a contest, share this channel with your friends, like this, subscribe, all that type of stuff. So anyways, on to the topic at hand, I haven't done a lot of deck profiles lately about Cardfight Vanguard, and uh, because of the new uh, upcoming mega trial deck thingamabob for Sanctuary Guard Dragon of Royal Paladins, I decided to just show you guys the uh, a build. So I'll be showing you guys today a... Uh, that you could use for a sanctuary, sanctuary guard dragon like beforehand and then I can tell you what cards you could switch out to add this in to make it better more consistent. So first off it's a uh, Bruegel. You could obviously switch this out when the set comes with the other guy. I don't know, remember his name but he's the grade zero. He's actually pretty good. Well decently good I guess. Or you could switch out for a level zero searcher because with the break ride you kind of want to have the search for the sanctuary guard dragon. So that's movie set. Oh yeah, by the way, sorry I don't have my playmat with me. I'm kind of just at a different location right now, so I can't really get there. And uh, then we have... For Garmore. So this is the before Gold Paladin version. Uh, his ability is uh, you can drop one card and then search your deck for a Snowgull, and he gains stuff for Snowgulls. It's actually one of the better cards, so I would highly just like, suggest leaving it at 4 in the deck. So I'll just leave that to the side here. And then there's one Pendragon because the person that we made the deck for, they want to use Pendragon as a brick, as a limit brick as of late. But you could switch this out for something else, like a Palamedes or something. So it's kind of decent. But if you do run the Sanctuary Guard, it's decently well to play. And since you, it's like, this is kind of like budget, and we're not going for Palamedes and all that, we just went for the second best thing, so just 12k attackers for the Vanguard, and we played three of them. So... In all, you could play four of them. That's what we used to play. So in all, you guys could probably swap these right away out. You could swap all these four out for the Sanctuary Guard Dragon that have four and four. Or you could play three of these, three of him, and then you could play two Palamedes. That's how one of the options. But anyways, keep eight grade threes. Now for grade twos, we run three Gallatin, 10Ks, three Lamorock, 10Ks. Uh, this is really good against Link Joker. 10Ks are really good. It's a really good meta call against Link Joker since their Mobius Breath can't attack over this, and most of their Vanguards are anything but are all nines or lowers. So it's really good. And then for other following that up, we play one Blaster Blade since it's kind of budget and you get that in the trial deck. Yeah, our local switches it out for that if you want them to be triple R. They don't really care about the rarity. And then we play four of the Garmore Grade 2. So it's pretty good. It's not that bad. And because of the calling abilities and everything, this deck is really consistent. The only issue is that it kind of lacks hand advantage, or like any hand presence. So anyways, uh, onto the thing at hand, you'd probably... I'd still probably play like at least four Grade 2s, if anything. I would probably play like five, because... The fact that the deck does lack power. So do you probably play five great ten Ks? You'd probably pull on to play I think you should you should still play Blaster Blade because uh Royal Paladins aren't anything without Blaster Blade. Um now there is a new card coming out in the set that's called Constance or something, and that's a card that would actually be a really good card to get. So if anything, maybe just switch that out for play two of uh play three constants. And then maybe take away one 10k and then play three Garmore. So you'd have four 10ks, three Garmore, three Constants, and then one Blaster Blade. But you can easily just switch out a, a, a Blaster Blade for a Constant. So you got four, or you could switch that out so you can have another 10k. So really, the, the ratios are optional to you, but it's 11 is good. And I would highly suggest just at least playing three Constants, and then you want to at least play three of this guy because it's your secondary constants and you can still get snowball and this makes the blizzard formation possible no joke because the last one when you get to grade three it's not really set up if you don't have constants already 
and because of that Sanctuary Guard Dragon gives you huge numbers. Okay, so we play Grid 1's 4 Marin. That's pretty obvious. Um, I'll move this card to the side one. We play 4 Snowball. This card makes the deck, literally, it's the best card of the deck because the boosting ability, you can have 8Ks or 9Ks boost your everything, and then with Sanctuary Guard, it just goes crazy. It's just insane. Yeah, so if you guys don't know what Sanctuary Guard Dragon does, um, if I'm right, it's for every grade 1 or lower, he gains 5k or something like that. I can't remember exactly what its ability is, but it's really good and really powerful with a limit break. So, the last f 6 cards I want to talk about are just because it's the budget build, but you can easily swap these out. So we play 4 of her so that you can counterblast, because the deck does not counterblast at all. Well, until you have Constance in, when you do, you can probably take these out, and then we have 2 Mirror Beer to swap out the cards, but in reality, you can just swap out 4 to make uh, perfect guards, so this could, these could be perfect guards. And then there's a new card coming out, I can't remember its name, but it's like a high it's a high beast, and you could just play two high beasts instead. So it's that new one, I can't remember, it's like 6k. It's fairly decent, but it's not the best card to use, I cannot remember its name. I could probably figure it out and link you below in the description box if I have the energy and time. But most likely, it's kind of like Snow Goal, it's just that it's not as good, so that's all you need to know. And then for triggers, we play the obligatory 4 heal, we play 4 crit, 4 more crit, we play 4 stands. Now the person that we made the deck for uh, in our team wanted 4 stands, but in all reality, we would probably want to switch it out since the deck does lack hand power since you do drop a lot of cards just to get the snow goals out. You'd probably want to do something in the lines of, per se... Uh, six six draw, and then six crit or eight crit four draw. So that's how I would play it. And anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this deck video. Uh, about the extra deck, the mega extra trial pack thingy. I probably will be opening one of those on camera today at some point. Uh, I haven't been really paying attention to Cardfight Banger because there's nothing. I'm just waiting for BT uh thirteen to come out because I ha I will be making. Well, actually, I have already confirmed that I'm making a Raging Form Dragon deck, and it most likely will be in Japanese, because it's pretty cool that way, and I'll use both, make both variants. Uh, if there is really any deck or anything you guys want to see in particular, I can probably get my hands on it, so if you want to, say, like, see a deck profile for an English deck of some sort, like budget, or really good right at the moment, then I can probably get it to you guys, so just comment below. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am back, and I will be trying to do my best to get more videos up. So please uh, comment, rate, subscribe, do whatever you want, share this video. It really helps me out. So anyways, guys, this has been Tony from Team Divine Pro, signing off.